Harold Hardrada's motives and claims, well, again, it wasn't clear about who would be the next king because there was other people who wanted to be king. So if you said you took Harold Hardrada out of the equation, well, it may well have been that that would have made the succession crisis less likely. But of course, then there may still have been William and so on and so forth. What did Harold Hardrada say? Well, Harold Hardrada said that he deserved to be the next king because there had previously been Viking kings of England. And furthermore, a few, a few decades before, um, there had been a deal made between the then King of England, um, a, which said that when that King of England died, a Viking king would be able to become King of England. That was called the Treaty... Hmm, let me think. The Conference... Gotha. Yeah, that's it. The Gotha River Conference. At the Gotha, G-O-T-H-A, at the Gotha River Conference, um, two kings met, the King of Norway, the King of England, and they said, whoever dies first, the other one inherits that kingdom. And so from that, Harold Hardrada, he wasn't the king at the time, but he said the Norwegian kings had been promised the English throne. So from that claim, he also said that he had the support of a very important English earl, Tostig Godwinson. So he could say even Harold Godwinson's own brother does not believe that Harold Godwinson should be the next king of England. And that lays, lays weight, or lends weight to the claim of Harold Hardrada's claim to the English throne. 